People use my virtues against me all the time. Trying to use the beautiful virtues of Christianity to control me instead of realizing that the freedom that comes with being a Christian is a discipline of serving God Almighty, which means you speak what needs to be spoken, whether you like it or not, and they'll try to use it against me. You Christians aren't supposed to offend people. And I'm like, well, then you know nothing in my religion. <laughs> We're not allowed to maliciously offend people. Not allowed to think I'm better than you? I'm not. Not allowed to think God likes me more? He doesn't. Not allowed to think I'm superior? I'm not. Trust me, the only reason I'm a Christian, it's the only religion that would have me. <laughs> I tried to join the other guy. Can I join you? No bacon. I'm out. I'm out! <laughs> kind of God would deny me a BLT? I am out of here! But listen, Christians, if the truth offends you, that's your problem. The truth is supposed to offend you. That's how you know you don't have it. In the Christian world, it's called conviction. In the secular world, it's called conscience. We have now heretical churches in the United States of America who want to kowtow to the secular humanist version of what it means to be a human, and they've abandoned our faith. So what they do is they don't want anybody to be offended, so they make sure that everybody feels equally welcome. They have no discipline in their life. They have no expectation of changing their behavior. There is no sense of repentance. Why did Jesus die for if you don't have to repent for anything? And then, when everybody feels comfortable and happy, they act like that's Jesus. And what happens when you do that? is they're not convicted. And if they're not convicted, they can't repent because there's nothing to repent of. What are they doing? They are stealing the Holy Spirit's access to their soul so he can convict them to get them back on track so they can be free again. They are loving these people right into hell. Folks, Christianity isn't easy. It's hard. Christianity is supposed to cost you something. Not in America. Not if it costs me something, I ain't playing. As long as it kowtows to my desires, I'll enjoy that Christianity. Well, you probably should. Problem is, it's not Christian. <laughs> 